Okay, now I want to discuss some uh, finer details. Actually, I've been covering what's called the uh, Koltanowski variations or line of the Kali system, and now I just want to cover um, the Zuckertort variation just very briefly, just touch upon it and the Phoenix attack. First, let me continue my discussion with the Koltanowski. So let's just do the uh, moves of the Kali. So d4, d5, these can be played in different move orders. Knight f3, knight f6, e3, e6, bishop d3, c5, c3, knight c6, knight on b to d2, d6, castles, castles. Then I talked about this move, uh, d takes c5, bishop takes c5, um, e4, Queen c7. Whoops. Well, actually, this is where I want to stop. So, no, actually, I don't want to stop here. I just want to continue showing. So, um, e4, threatening e5, queen c7, uh, protecting against d5, queen e2, um, bishop 2. Uh, d6, and then the uh, rook e1, and then just this line here where um, white gets a nice advantage with an isolated pawn. So, well, black saw that this isn't what it wanted, was an isolated pawn. So, um, black came up with a new idea of saying, hey, when you play queen e2, and I already mentioned this line, I mentioned the b6 line as an alternative to show you the Kali, the Kali sacrifice, which was e5, knight to g4, and then this sequence. But then I mentioned that, that nothing really comes of it, because if the queen comes to uh, h5 or h4, then the queen just goes to f5, so with no real advantage for white. So where our white realized that this isn't really an advantage, so what is white to do? Well, the idea for the Kali players was to play backing up now all the way to e4 instead of making this e4 push on move 9. They were going to try something different. They were going to try b4 because the problem is, is this bishop right here uh, looks along this diagonal. It starts being a problem because it can be, a, you know, black noise then attack this square here. So white, the, one of the new ideas from white is to play b4, forcing the bishop back now, and then uh, playing bishop uh, uh, b2, sort of like what we're going to see in the Zuckertort variation. And then now e5 threatening e4 fork so e4 d takes e4 knight takes e4 knight takes e4 bishop takes e4 f5 by um, black bishop to d5 and then after um, king h8 white has various ideas of playing b5 kicking the knight c4 um, and then the bishop back. So these are various ideas and what's called, this is called the phoenix attack where, where originally where um, um, uh, white played this move before kicking this bishop back to uh, d6. So that's the phoenix attack. So let me back up to the Zuckertor variation all the way to the beginning. So that's just a quick overview of the Phoenix attack. Now the Zuckertor variation is similar. I can just gonna play a little bit different move order. D5. Oh, I'm sorry. D4, Knight F6, which you'll see very commonly, and you can always play Knight F3. So right now you can play the Koltanowski or the Zuckertor. C5. This is just a different move order. E3. E6. Bishop d3, you don't see any difference yet. d5, now here's the difference. Um, normally, white would have played some 
something like c3, but now um, white's going to play b3 with the idea of placing this bishop here. Oops. Plains placing the bishop here where it can look along this diagonal. Because one of the problems in the collie uh, is this bishop here. And that's one of the reasons why white makes this freeing move is to get a kingside attack and the free this bishop will. One of the other ideas is to play b3 to put the bishop on b2 and also it stops the move uh, c4 by black. So that's the idea behind that. And then the game can continue. Uh, there's various games, but this is the basic idea or the setup. Look for the setup for white. I'm, the, um, I'm not really concerned about all the black moves, but uh, so play could continue like knight to c6, you know, castles. Um, black usually is going to play this move, c takes d4, which actually ends up helping white in the long run. E takes d4, uh, bishop to d6, bishop d2. Now looks like, gee, I'm putting my bishop this diagonal, but it's blocked by the pawn. So castles a3, which is to stop the knight from coming to b4, where it can attack the bishop. b6, um, wanting to move, develop the, the bishop through uh, b7, knight on b to d2, normal collie development. Uh, b7, bishop to b7, queen e2, so starting to look sort of like you can see it has some very uh, collie type move openings. Now the difference is, is that the bishop, we've played b3 and put the bishop on b2 instead. So that's uh, the idea behind the Zuckertort variation. So that's some follow-up to uh, the previous Koltanowski. So I just cover the Phoenix attack and the Zuckertort variation.